All right, today we are making some grouse sausage. But first, we got to get some grouse. Got one lined up in the tree here. Small one. All right, well that's a headshot. This next one, uh, this next clip, I'm gonna let play out because I really like it when you can just kind of sneak up on them quietly and pull up and shoot them quick. What you doing? Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Making bird sausage. Made out of what? Birds. Spruce heads and bacon. Spruce Can you tell me what we've done so far? We have um, a little bit of mildly frozen spruce head and bacon. And I am currently grinding that first time together before we add the seasonings. How did these spruce hens die? Probably a slingshot. <laughs> Where'd the bacon come from? A uh, local place called Meal Canyon. It's nice and um, thick slices of really fatty good bacon. Yeah. Good stuff. Thanks. Alright, so I'm measuring out, oh look at that, just about three pounds, which is what we have seasoning for. And I'm going to add the seasoning mix that I made, kind of like an Italian sausage seasoning mix. It's got some herbs and spices and garlic and salt and whatnot in it. I'm just going to mix that all together. Mm -hmm. What do you think the ratio is between like bird and bacon? Mm, a third bacon, two thirds. Yeah. So like. Oh, it's cold. <laughs> well, let's tell us why it's cold. Oh, because we started with pretty uh, frozen bacon and uh, almost completely frozen bird, so that it goes to the grinder a little bit easier. And I'm cool mashing this up with the seasonings because we're going to put it back through the grinder in a second here. Second grind. Just to kind of evenly distribute everything. Okay. Excuse me. 
here we have a very lovely string of pig intestine. Oh my gosh, it smells a little bit like, it smells very briny, very salty. It smells kind of like it came out of the ocean. Oh, it comes in pieces. Probably won't really need something about that big. Oh, look at that, that's handy. All right, we'll leave the rest for now. We don't have that much meat. Welcome to the filling of the largest condom you've ever seen. Like guts. Wait, so we're just trying to get the water to go all the way through. Yes. <clears throat> So one thing to keep in mind is that the intestine is much stronger than it looks. You can... It feels like it's going to tear, but it's not. What are you doing, Mike? Twisting up some liners. It is important to note that I have no idea what I'm doing. Looks good. Let's see if they stay. Which is why none of these are the same size. <laughs> all coming together for a beautiful uh, breakfast in the evening type situation. Let's have a look. This is a bag of fresh kale from the garden, which is the green equivalent to cardboard. That won't be making an appearance on yours. That is a spruce grouse patty fried up perfect for sourdough bread size. This is some sort of fancy, fancy cheese. Where, what kind of cheese is this? Dubliner cheddar. That's Dubliner cheddar. This beautiful loaf here is sourdough mine. that my wife made. Look at the bubbles in that! Alaska mm -hmm. sourdough is doing its deal. That sausage is really good. I love that it's not it's not too salty. It's got like enough spices that you can taste it, but it doesn't overpower like everything else I'm eating. Like a lot of store-bought sausage does. It's super good. Now this is pretty fantastic. As you can see, I'm already halfway down on this bad boy. And it is, uh, it's not too salty. We didn't add any additional salt. There's just the salt that comes from the bacon. And, uh, yeah, it all, it's all good. That's a winner right there. For a first go at it, it's real, it's a real win. <clears throat> Mustache maintenance is key. When everything is from within like three miles of your house, you can't beat it. 